Hello everyone, and welcome back to Sally Face. So in the last episode, things got a little bit messed up. And if this intro is anything to go off, it doesn't stop there. I'm awake, I'm awake already. All this medication in the background. Vampire Hunter B. That's a horrible amalgamation of places we've been in the past. Oh, okay. Hmm. Oh, hey buddy, Belzebub. Beelzebub. Who are you? I am Lord Belzebub. Whoa, really? So you're like the devil or something? No, it's a nickname. Bestowed upon me by my kin. Family can be rough. Indeed. Can I get into that door? You've only just arrived. No. You may not pass through my doorway. You must first admire my art. Your art? Yes. In the dark there are five. The fifth you mustn't see. Of the remaining four arts you must gaze upon three. Once you have done so, report back to me. Alright, whatever you say, Edgar. It's Beelzebub. Lord Beelzebub. Okay, bubs. Alrighty then. One, two, three, four, five, we must not see. Okay. Hmm. It's locked. Oh. Frickin' lovely. There was a knock at the door and I couldn't see again. I was me again. Suddenly, it forced my hand and this freedom was revealed to be only an illusion. I was forced to watch everything, a prisoner in my own mind. I have done terrible things, unforgivable things. I am so sorry. Okay. You call that art, though? Ah, here we go. Here's one of the runes. Whoa. Those are uh, faces. What have we done to deserve such agony? They were determined to devour us all. Nothing could stop them. The burning lights of the gods have faded. Their watchful eyes turned to horrified screams. And then everything was black. I <laughs> like how Sally's just like, okay, bye. Oh, another rune. Trap and rot. I was broken before he found me, scattered and lost. Then he looked upon my face and saw all of me at once. After being discarded by everybody else, after years of not being seen or heard, he saw me, and we were in love. And everything was perfect. Until it all fell apart again, now there is only pain. Everything falls apart. Uh... Okay. Oh, more. More! More, more! And we're back. Sorry, I had to do a bit of a cut ahead. 
because someone, <coughs> Grim, decided to jump into the recording. Damn it. <laughs> no, for some reason uh, Discord didn't close and he didn't know any better. Probably should have just left it in, but um, I was kind of like, what the fuck are you doing, dude? <laughs> Get out of here. Um, Alright, um, so we've looked in the other three rooms. Now we need to figure out the lock. Okay, if they all start as dots... Damn it. Okay, what my notes say is... Seven... Wait, wait, what does it say? Seven, six, eight, so... One, two, three, four, five, six... No, wait, six... No, wait, seven, six, eight, seven... One, two, three, four, five, six... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, that's not working. Okay, what? There are nine symbols from zero to eight, corresponding to the number of lines. To make it one line for one, four lines for the four. Room four's door code is made with the numbers corresponding to the total number of lines of each room. Okay. But that's correct. If it's the number of lines per rune... No, not that way. Gross. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Damn it. Maybe they're upside down. They were. Well, that's freaking stupid. Oh, lovely. Her soul was corrupted by the dark, by hunger, by isolation. She suffered greatly. Through our union, we have saved her. We are the endless echoes within oblivion. We are all that is, was, and will ever be. Okay then. See, when Sally turns around and walks like that, I'm not controlling it. Three, four, two, six, nine, seven. Okay. I better write that down. So, peering eyes. They are filled with regret and sorrow. Their sins. They are in a lot of pain. Trap not. Trap and rot. They are heartbroken. Her fate. They've lost touch with reality. Can I go through the door now? Once you go through that door, there is no going back. Thank you. You're welcome. See ya, bubs. Oh, 
Oh man, I should have gone back and checked door five. Oh well. Okay then. Is anyone listening? Is anyone there? Please, I need help. I... I can't remember who I am. It's so dark here. What if that is Larry's aunt? I remember a blinding light, then a burning pain washed over me, and then I was here. I can't shake this feeling of loss and b despair. Am... am I dead? Oh, we got no more pigtails left. Oh, I'm gonna miss him. Oh, there's a Totoro picture on the wall. There's masks from, um, all sorts of stuff. Is that Wednesday Adams? <laughs> Blade corn. Nice. Okay. Man, this room rules. Huh? Where's my cell phone? Where is your cell phone? Dude! Our very own local mystery. In other news, Knockfell Mills was engulfed in flames this morning. Firefighters rushed to the scene, but by the time they were able to eliminate the fire, the majority of the building and materials had already been destroyed. Factory has been a major source of employment for our small town since 1934. This is the third time the building has caught fire, though never have we seen such devastation as today. The authorities believe the fire to be the result of foul play, but couldn't say any more at this time. Earlier this year was also the anniversary of the previous fire, the second largest fire of the three, where over 20 people died. Luckily this time there were no casualties, however three factory workers are currently in hospital with minor injuries. Currently, it is unclear as to whether the owners can afford to rebuild the mill. They have been on a slow decline for the past decade, and have been struggling financially. If they don't rebuild, many families will lose their main source of income. We'll keep you updated as we receive more details. Basement. Sales room. Oh, we've got a different house. I mean, like, I thought we might just have new furniture or something. Front door. Sal looks older. Who's this young chap? Neil. Morning, sally -o. What's happening? Hey, Neil. No pigtails today? I didn't think I've seen you with your hair down. I almost didn't recognize you. Uh, yeah. You feeling alright, man? You seem out of it. Nightmare's keeping me up. Uh huh. Nightmare's keeping me up. Sorry to hear that. It could be stress. I have trouble sleeping when I'm stressed, too. Anything you want to talk about? Nah, no, you're right. It's probably stress. There's a fresh pot of coffee downstairs. You should have a cup. It'll do you good. I never start the day without my caffeine fix. Thanks. Maybe I will. Not a problem, Celio. Have you seen my cell phone? I can't find it anywhere. Oh yeah, I found it outside last night on the porch. I didn't want to leave it there, so I brought it in. I almost forgot I had it. Thanks, I didn't realize I left it outside. No worries, happens to the best of us. Here you go, man. Where's Todd? He has classes this morning. Alright. How goes the ghost hunting? Todd was saying that it's been pretty slow lately on that front. Slow, I wish. Uh, I mean, yeah, slow. It's been slow. You boys keep me protected again, aren't you? You boys are trying to keep me protected again, aren't you? It's sweet, but you know I can handle myself. Plus, I am two years older than you all. No, I know. It's just that we 
Yeah, yeah, four friends made a pact five years ago, and I can respect the loyalty behind that. Actually, I think it's pretty dang cute. <laughs> Speaking of cute, I heard that lovely Ash was coming to town today. The lone wolf of the four horsemen returns. Are you excited? We're supposed to catch up this afternoon. So, that's a no on the excitement then? No, I can't wait to see her. I'm just, you know, feeling tired today. There's still coffee downstairs calling your name. Sally face, come get some. Did you hear those strange noises? Um, you're gonna have to be a bit more specific, Mr. Sleepyhead. Last night, I heard something like a weird siren. No, I didn't hear anything like that. Maybe Gizmo was up watching TV? No, it wasn't that. It was like, uh... Eh, never mind. Probably just the nightmares. Gosh, man. Are you sure you're okay? Yeah, I'm good. How's work going? Ah, shoot. Work. I'm supposed to cover the morning shift today. Gotta run, Salier. Catch you later. Awkward. <laughs> Alright. Um... Guess we should... Gizmo! <laughs> I love you, Gizmo. Oh, wait! Oh, dude! These are, um, shoutouts to various YouTubers and stuff. Dude, that's cool. And this developer rules. <laughs> Honestly, though. What am I looking for? a note from Todd to me. Okay, um... Sal, here's a new code. 4035364. Okay. Is that a walking stick or a... a hook on a stick? Um, hmm. I mean, I guess we gotta go down the basement. Um, hmm. Dude, really? Why do you keep getting these stickers? <laughs> Freaking cute, dude. Oh, here we go. Um... Four, zero, three, five, three, six, four. Nice. Okay, I think in this episode uh, of the game, not the series, we're looking for these videotapes. Lost. Phantom. I saw the faded shape of a man. There's something important about him. I can feel it, like a distant itching memory in the back of my skull. His image was fleeting. It flickers in and out of view. It's as if he's trapped in a parallel reality, a phantom just out of reach. Or perhaps I'm the phantom, and he resides in the land of the living. I've cried for his attention, but I don't think that he can see or hear me. Okay, awkward. It was cool of Rob to give us some funds for new equipment when he found out what we were up to. He basically thought we were real life ghost nabbers. Stuff. 
Is the cult still operating? And if so, where are they all? Oh, so we're out of school now. I can't believe we've been working on this for five years now. It feels more like the connections we find, the less sense it all makes. Ah, so they all moved in together. Oh man, that's freaking awesome. And there's the, um, the Rubik's Cube in the background. There's keys there as well, I want them. Gizmo is just chilling until he needs to get up and freaking drop a deuce. I'm suspicious about that under the stairs door. Should probably charge our phone. I'll check back in a minute. Alright. Um, I think we might actually just need to wait. See if we can have some coffee, huh? Neil loves this stuff, but I hate the taste. No thanks. Oh. Okay then. It's still charging. Damn it. He's got a disc man in there. Man, I haven't seen one of those in a few years. Oh, a signed poster. Nice. Is that a fidget spinner? It's something. Looks like it's charged now. There's a new message from Larry. Are you awake? I am now. What's up? Something wrong with Adam and Addison Apartments. Other than ghosts and a creepy basement? I'm serious. I'm coming over. Give me a few minutes. Okay, text me when you're ready. Ready. On the way now. Okay. Oh. This all seems to be a dramatic change from your original story, Mr. Fisher. Isn't it true you had initially stated that you were not in contact with Larry Johnson? Yes. So you admit to lying in your original statements? Yes, I was in shock from what happened and thought the truth would be more harmful. That no one would believe me. I didn't know what else to do. And how can we trust anything you say now? How are we to decipher what is true and what is a lie? All I have left is the truth. It's important that people hear what I have to say, whether they believe it or not. Well, I hope for they, their sake they do. Is that a threat? It's a warning. Would you have us believe that there is still a killer on the loose in Knockfell? That all of the evidence presented today, the victim's blood on your clothes and skin, your fingerprints on the murder weapon, the security footage, the eyewitness accounts, that all of these things were some elaborate cover-up, created by who? The county police department? If it's alright with the court, I'd like to continue my testimony. It's important that the story be told chronologically, in order to prevent details being taken out of context. Well, more so than they already have been. I'll allow it. Please continue with your testimony, Mr. Fisher, but realize that we will expect answers to these questions the prosecution has presented. Everything will be answered. Then proceed. Damn. I'm telling you, dude, something is seriously wrong. Did you see the demon again? No, I haven't seen it since we blasted it years ago even went through every inch of the building this morning with the Super Gear Boy and found nothing. All the ghosts have been missing for weeks. That is a little odd. Though, who's to say it's a bad thing? Maybe they were finally able to pass on. I don't know, man. I've been getting this horrible feeling. Like, something under my skin crawling around, itching at the back of my skull. It's like... quiet before the storm or some shit. I can feel it. 
Huh? What? Deja vu. I've been getting that feeling too. Like everything is foggy and there's something there, just beyond the fog, just waiting. Yes, exactly. Whatever it is, it's coming to the from the apartments. So are you going to come and check it out or what? Of course I will. Okay. He has class today. Oh, alright. I was hoping he'd have a new gadget or something. He's been working on something, but I don't think it's finished yet. The guitar mods are finally done, but Todd hasn't shown me how to use it yet, so best not mess with it. Hopefully it works better than that box thing he made last year. Yeah, I'd like to keep my guitar in one piece. So, you all packed up? Almost. I want to get the rest moved over this weekend. It'd be nice to finally get out of that basement. Cool. Todd said that we can use the van too. Sweet. Yeah. Oh, so that spare room is going to be Larry's. Sweet, dude. You guys going to talk again? Hey, Sal. Yeah? What if everything is too broken to fix? Like, what if we are the only ones doing anything about any of this? I think everybody else just chooses to ignore the fact that everything is so broken, you know? How can they? I don't get it. How are other people so happy? Why can't we be like that? Maybe it's because we actually give a shit. Or maybe it's because we can't ignore how messed things up are. How messed up things are around here. I guess. I don't know, dude. Come on, I know you got more to say. Any second now, come on, Larry. I think it's kind of awesome though that they're all moving in together, but what's the deal with Ash moving so being so far away? I guess that's just how it goes when you finish high school. You have your friends and everybody goes their separate ways. I think I talked to like one person I went to high school with. And like I'm on friendly terms with a few of them, but you know most of them can just go fuck themselves. <laughs> gonna talk dude I don't think he's gonna talk we'll give it another 10 or so seconds well I'm out of patience let's go Fell Homes. Affordable homes in the beautiful hillside district. Salvation Road. Oh, it's in walking dist distance. Oh man, something got cleaned up over there. Call 555. Home to view today. Never work Cemetery. Phelps Ministry. God sees all. Here we go, Addison Apartments. Can we just keep going? No, damn. I was enjoying seeing the town. Looks like you were right about that storm. Alright, let's do this. Right behind you. Wait, what does that sign say? I can't... Something the time. Yeah, I can't read that. Oh well. 
Oh, it's Addison's. No, wait, that's Mr. Addison's. Whose is this? Mr. Addison's been storing this stuff in here for so long. I bet he doesn't even remember what's in these boxes. They're probably, they're probably filled with stuff from when his family was alive. Yeah, some of them are. The rest are like old clothes, tea sets, cookbooks, just a bunch of old junk. Larry, what? You snooped through Terence's things? Well, yeah, dude. How could I not? The guy leaves his room. Never leaves his room. Plus. I also wanted to make sure he wasn't involved in the cult or hiding bodies in here or something weird. But it's all just normal, boring old man stuff. Okay, fair enough, I guess. Huh. Next time you plan on doing some nosing around, make sure you let me know. Heh. <laughs> oh, wait. Heh, <laughs> will do. We should go say hello to Mr. Addison. Well, good morning, young sirs. How are you two doing this fine day? We're doing okay. How about you? I'm just wonderful. Things have been so peaceful in the building. Though, of course, we do miss having our dear Sal Fisher with us, and I'll be sad to see Larry going as well. I'll miss it here too, but it'll be nice to get out of that basement. Plus, we're only right down the road. I understand. Our young lads are all grown up now, and ready for the next stage of their lives. I'm excited for you both, you know. I wish you young boys nothing but the best. You truly deserve it. Thanks. Thanks, Terence. Aw, that's kind of sweet. Uh, that's right, Rosenberg kind of just disappeared, didn't she? Why did they leave all of Rosenberg's stuff in here again? Addison still thinks she's on vacation or something, and she'll come back. I don't think that's going to happen. Still not really sure what happened to her. You said she just, like, disappeared, right? Yeah, but it was more than that. She appeared as a ghost before vanishing. I don't think she was fully human. Oh, right. I remember you saying that. And she was in the cult for a while, but then stopped them, or tried to stop them? which would have made her super old. Hmm. Maybe she was an alien. Dude, seriously? Aliens? It's not that crazy. The universe is infinitely massive, beyond our comprehension. It seems more foolish to believe that there are only li we are the only life forms that exist. I guess so, but like, Rosenberg must have been the most boring alien ever. No claws or fangs or acid spit. I bet they aren't that different from us. Maybe they are more human than we think. I hope not. I prefer my aliens to be wild green creatures obsessed with stealing cows and anally probing people in their sleep. You would. <laughs> are you getting any hits on the Super Gear Boy in here? Nothing. Ew. 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 Huh? What is it? It's a tooth. Gross, dude. You picked that up with your bare hand? I'm not just gonna leave it there. What if we need it or something? What would we possibly need someone's tooth for? Hi, I'm Sally Face, and this is... This is my friend Larry. We research paranormal and occult activity in the town of Knockville, where everything weird can and does happen. Good point. Still gross, man. I'm kind of with Larry on this one. Ah, oh, Miss Gibson. Yeah, what do you want, Sal? Why is he here? Hey, Miss Gibson, we were... Well, that's about par for the course. A lady sure can hold a grudge. Awkward. Better not bother her anymore. 
Actually, you know what? We're probably over time for this episode, so I'm going to call that an episode there. If you guys like what you saw, like, comment, and subscribe. Ring that notification bell to stay up to date with episodes, and until the next episode of Sally Face, you've been watching Dude Go Back. Thanks for watching, everyone.